Zoe, I'm really excited about this episode. A three segment of dumplings. Love it. Oh, it couldn't be, it's like heaven for me. <laughs> now, we're going to make another dumpling here. It's a pork yep. dumpling. We're going to make a, a, a chilli oil dumpling. Ah, that's um, why it's heaven to him, because it's it, a pork dumpling. It is. Um, but we're going we're gonna to do this in a broth. So what I've got mm. is some lovely chicken stock where I've roasted the bones. I've got a cinnamon quill in there as well mm. and a star anise to sort of... That's very trendy bone broth right now. It, it is. Well, it's just, called stock. <laughs> I've been doing it since the dawn of time and so have my forefathers. So <laughs> it can be as trendy as you want, but I love it. So pork's in there. Yep. I've got some garlic. So a clove okay. of garlic in, into, into the mix there. Yep. And then while you're doing it, I've got this bowl here. Oh, this will be our dressing bowl. So you might as well put some garlic in there, some garlic in there and some so ginger as well. you. We'll do them simultaneously and at the same time. How's that? There we go. Something like that. Um, now, what I've got is some coriander here. I'll start from the stem end here and I'll chop it all the way down nice and fine because I want to get as much of uh, much of the coriander flavour into here. And the stem's got plenty of flavour. It's got a bit of crunch as well. Lovely. So that's why Beautiful. I'll put that into the actual pork mixture. Now, the, uh, the leaves and the little tiny bit of stem here, that's the pretty part of it. So there's plenty of flavour in that as well. So what I'll do is I'll save that to put in the, uh, in the actual sauce. So in the sauce it goes. So we've got garlic going into both of them. Nice. Ginger and coriander will this go into is, uh, both of them. Highly efficient cooking, I like it. We're not mucking around. I mean, these are the ingredients you'll have on the bench, so you might as well, uh, while you're chopping them, you know, do them uh, for both. There we go. The chives, I'll chop them nice Lovely. and fine. What I'll do is I'll put some chives in there, drop them from the side there, and I'll put the rest of the chives in there. Zoe, I'm going to get you belting away at the, uh, yep. the sauce. Sugar over there, about two tablespoons of sugar. Um, I've got some vinegar there as well, nice okay. for some sharpness. Lovely. And you've got some chilli oil there, about a quarter of a cup of vinegar and some chilli oil there. Uh, oh. Nearly a quarter of a cup of uh, chilli oil. Um, some soy sauce and some, uh, some sesame oil. Just a little bit of soy oh. sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. And I'll grab both of them. I'll put the soy sauce in here, just a couple of drops in there as well. Lovely. I'll season that. And I'll grab a couple of drops of this as well. You I know? just love how super efficient this is. It is, it is. Now, in there as well, I'm going to put some sesame seeds straight Beautiful. into yours. They're toasted sesame seeds. Toasted sesame Yum. seeds. About a quarter of a cup. I'll throw them all in there. Lovely. Now, I will, of course, grab some salt to put in my mixture here. A nice little pinch of salt. Mm. So what I'll do is just mix this around so it's nice and uh, all the herbs and all the ingredients are mixed into the uh, pork. See, it's all yep. evenly mixed up there. Now, these are some bought, uh, bought little gyoza or little dumpling uh, wrappers. These are round. These are made with flour. Okay. They're, they're gorgeous little things. Yeah, they're a little thicker than some of the others as well. I like it. They are. You can buy this at most <laughs> supermarkets now. Yeah. The trick with these ones is not to put too much, Zoe. Okay. About a teaspoon. What that's that's about that's about right. Yeah. No more than that because if you put too much, you can't close it up. There we go. And what I'll do is grab a little bit of water here from my little See, stainless steel cup. The thing I like about dumplings is there's so much teamwork involved. So you can get the kids involved, and you can get or you get the partner involved, whatever. Or but you it's can, fun. Now I've got my pot of water already going over here. Into the water goes some salt, a nice heavy-handed amount of salt because you want to actually taste the dumplings when they're cooked. In go the dumplings, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, lovely little dumplings, mm. oh, fantastic. Now these will take a couple of minutes to cook, if that, probably about a minute and a half, two minutes. Beautiful. What we'll do is give that a quick wipe down if you can right. with a cloth. And have a look at this Chinese bowl. By the time these come back to the boil, we'll have this wiped down, cleaned up, and we'll be ready to eat these dumplings. Look at that, Zoe. That didn't take long at Beautiful. all. I've come up to the top there. Now, what I need to do is just take a few of these babies off the top. And they all held together really nicely as well. Really, really nicely. I'll just pop them into the bowl here like this. Look at that. Nice. I think there's one little straggler, one of the uh, little bits of filling escaped there. But we'll... Uh, Let me be free! We'll go back through the security tapes later on and find out what happened to that little, little baby there. There's always one extra one. There the sacrificial dumpling. Now, I've got this beautiful chicken stock. This dish is all about having really nice broth to go on top of it. And the star anise and the cinnamon smell. Absolutely. If you could be in this studio, it's just beautiful. A really pungent, fragrant smell. And something really kind of warming and nourishing to it as well. I've even put one on top there. <laughs> now, here's the trick. Do resist the temptation of putting a heap of this on. Just put a little bit of it on like that so it just goes around there. It, Beautiful. You'll be amazed at how powerful this is mm. and it will go through I the whole broth. can vouch for that. <laughs> there we go. And a couple of pieces of chilli, make sure it's not too hot. In it goes like that. Nice, simple, basic mm. dish. We don't have to go crazy about it. What I want you to do, Zoe, is just snuggle one of those uh, little dumplings out onto your spoon there. Give it a bit of a blow. You can break it open if you want. Give it a bit of a... Ooh. 
below to cool it down because it will be red hot. And have a taste of that. Mm, hot. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. That chilli oil really is pungent. Beautiful, beautiful flavour. Are you doing that? I'll give you the tip. When you do slurp the dumpling in like that, do watch out because the chilli oil hits the back of your throat mm. and it's really, really hot. Oh. That's a crack of a dish. Nice, simple one. The broth is really nourishing and warming. I think it's a great little dish, really easily. I think we've done some great dumpling dishes. Your steamed dumpling was outstanding. My little uh, Russian dumpling, and now the Chinese chili oil dumplings. Three fantastic dishes. You know what? We each do it our own way, but they each turn out absolutely beautifully.